Hey, it's Randy from UC Status. Welcome to another episode of Ditch the Box, the unboxing show for people that hate unboxing shows but love the product inside. Today, we're going to look at a new product from our friends at Yealink. It's the Microsoft Teams Room Generation 2 from Yealink. This is called the M Core, it's their new PC. Um, if I turn this around, you can see it's got some ventilation on the side, but the real party piece is this uh, little flap in the back. Uh, these jaws might give you a little bit of a clue as to what it is, but you can see you've got a little button here and on the other side as well. If you press those and open up this, uh, this little flap, you can see this, uh, this is where you plug in all the cables for the unit, which is quite good for cable management. You've got you know, power, internet, you got something called a VCH port, which actually connects to the uh, to the M Touch, the, the touchscreen on the table. Uh, four USB uh, three ports for audio or video, and you got dual HDMI as standard. These uh, rubberized jaws at the top and bottom will hold the cables nice and solid, you know, kind of soft thing. You've got some corresponding holes for the different size cables. So the, the power cable there is a nice small slot. The one next to it is for the internet and VCH port. Again, nice and soft, not to jam the cables up. And you've got nice wide slots here for, you know, a, for the USB and HDMI. And there's a corresponding rubber, t rubber pad on the other side. And again, nice wide slots for the two HDMI cables that come out the, uh, the back. And then when you're ready, you just close the jaws up and click them into place. And it holds it nice and securely. You've also got screw holes to uh, hold the jaws shut once it's mounted under the table. And then these four uh, kind of square slots here um, are for the mounting plate. They actually slip onto the mounting plate. There's a little slot inside that holds them on to the mounting plate. And it kind of slips on and, and clips into place. Now once the mounting bracket is on the wall, you turn around, you put the little slots onto the, uh, the, the corresponding pegs on the mounting bracket, and then you push it upward to lock it into place. You can tell that the Yay Link logo is right side up, and then it also puts your cables right at the top, so they're easily accessible. And the power button is at the bottom, so. And because airflow is super important at a tiny PC, they've got these big vent grills on each side. So there's one side and the other. And this side, you can see some sort of like heat sink or something like that um, to make sure the air flows in. Probably goes in this side and out the other or the other way around. I'm not sure which. Also new with the new MTR uh, Generation 2 is the M-Touch 2. Uh, capacitive touch as always, uh, motion sensor there. Then if we flip it around the side, you've got a nice um, articulating hinge uh, uh, stand. Um, the, the last one was solid, this one's kind of open. Uh, very good range of motion. And then around the back, you've got all the ports. So the VCH port there is what you connect to the main compute unit with. Uh, just Cat5 or Cat6 up to 40 meters. Some cable management in the middle to kind of move things around. And then you've got USB-C for wired content ingest, which has got a dongle to connect to HDMI, and then a USB-A for sound on the table. Another thing to say is that the original um, MTR from Yealink had a little box. It was called the M-Share. So the M-Share was a little box that would connect to the main compute unit using a USB cable, and that was where all the content ingest was built in. So there was a USB slot and an HDMI slot, but also um, it was um, available for wireless content sharing as well. Using these, the WPP20. So this is just a little a USB dongle that goes into a, a laptop, and it pairs with the M-Share. You can have up to eight of these uh, little dongles here that are paired with the M-Share built into the touchscreen, which is um, which keeps it nice and on the table. So no, just no um, hiding behind screens or behind partitions or under tables or anything or in armoires. Uh, it's you know nice on the table and uh, ready for when you when you need it. 
To keep the WPP dongles tidy, you also get this fetching cup to keep on the table. It's got a rubberized bottom to uh, protect it from uh, the elements and banging it around and that kind of thing. You can also keep pens in there if you want to. And now you can see one here kind of deployed in anger uh, along with the cameraman there sitting on the table. And then next to it is the CP900, which is just a USB kind of room speaker phone that is actually connected via USB to that USB-A port that you saw in the back there. You can see Teams button on the front um, for, for quick join, volume and power and all that kind of stuff. This is the wall mount plate for the M-Core. You can see it's got four screw holes and a nice sticker that shows you which way it mounts. These little tabs here are, are what goes into the corresponding slots on the back of the M-Core PC. And then here's one that was already mounted earlier. You can see that it's got the cable management sticking out the top, and in this case, just five cables uh, to keep them nice and tidy. Uh, above that will be a sound bar in my case. Switching gears completely, we're going to start looking at some of the camera options with Ye Link's uh, new MTR range. So this is the UVC-30. You can see it's got a nice manual uh, lens cap that you can just flip open when you're ready to use it. It's a USB ca uh, camera with nice long cable, uh, 120 degree field of view, uh, 4K at 30 frames per second or 1080 or 720p at 60 frames per second. And this is the new UVC-40 uh, it's a, a video soundbar from Yealink, 133 degree field of view, uh, 20 megapixel camera, really, really good. It's got an electronic lens cap that uh, sh shuts when you're not using it. This is closed, of course, if I tease it open a little bit uh, and kind of work against the motor slightly, you can see that it's there. So you can see it's a nice good size. Uh, it's not too big, not too small. And as others have gone with, it's uh, kind of gone with this textured cloth, which I think makes it look fairly premium, uh, kind of rounded edges and uh, a nice kind of square look to it. Really, really modern. Uh, remote sensor at the front as well. Then if we shift around the back, you've got the ports on the back. So you've got a Kensington lock, you've got a line in, and then over on the other side, you've got power, USB back to the compute unit, and then um, another port for uh, extending microphones. Uh, the USB-A port, I think, is for something coming in the future. Then if we shift around the side, you've got the actual mounting, the wall mounting bracket for it. It's a hinged bracket, nice and heavy, with a rubberized base to keep it nice and protected. You can see it's a, a two-piece unit with uh, a hinge in the middle. This little screw here, a little thumb screw, is for tightening it to keep it uh, nice and tight. And I've got screw heads to, to tighten it a bit further. Um, to, to keep it in place. It means you could actually adjust the angle. So if you've mounted this above the uh, the screen, you can angle it down to look down on the table. Again, if you're going to mount it below the screen, you can angle it to, to angle it up toward the table and the people in the room. Then around the back, you can see it's got a line out here which goes to the sound bar that goes with this unit and the power cable below that. And if you come around the other side, you can see you've got the Yealink D10. This is a decked dongle for pairing with the, uh, the decked mics. And then you've got the USB cable that goes back to the main compute unit. And of course, in the back there, you can see the uh, mounting wall, the wall mounting bracket, which keeps the cables tidy in the middle. This here is called the VCR20. It's a little remote control which comes with most of the units. Uh, you can see it's nice and tidy, kind of fits in your hand. Uh, several buttons on the, on the front. It's got a Teams button for contextual join, as you would expect. A D-pad for scrolling around uh, in the collab bar, and then uh, a jog wheel for zooming in and out. It will actually work uh, to, to answer the call. You've got the end call on the other side. You've got volume up and down, 
and you've got mute at the top left and then you've got a framing button on the top right. It will actually work with the UVC 50 uh, for um, pan tilt zoom and for the soundbar for doing framing and zooming and that kind of thing as well. I hope you've enjoyed this whistle stop tour of Yealink's Generation 2 MTR as well as some gems from Generation 1. I've shown you the M Core, uh, the, the new little PC with the cable management out the back, the M Touch, which has got the baked in content ingest right on the table that's wired and wireless. Uh, of course, I've shown you a uh, CP900 speakerphone, uh, speaker puck for meeting rooms, the UVC 30 camera the UVC 40 uh, video soundbar, which is absolutely amazing. You really, really have to use one. And a gem from generation one, which is UVC 50. Um, again, join me on the next episode of Dish the Box. Thanks very much. Bye for now.